How do they treat you when you're, when you're the new guy that shows up and all the, the new guys that come up to get to the teams? Uh, like dirt. Yeah. It was, you know, it, the thing is, the older guys with the most experience and the strongest character treated me the best. It was sure. the guys with only one stripe on me with, quite frankly, drinking problems and, and weren't really doing well. Those are the guys that treated me like dirt. It's kind uh, of a theme I've noticed in life and in certain aspects, not yeah. just, yeah, I, I get yeah. that, yeah. Because they've been, they want to help out the younger guy. They have nothing to prove, yeah. so to speak. But, yeah, uh, it was the senior saying. chief that was really out outperforming everybody. He was the one that was teaching me stuff mm -hmm. and helping me and mentoring me, and that was that was inspiring and motivating. So what, what year was that then when you got to, uh, when you got to SEAL? That 88. SEAL 88? Yeah. Very, and you bounced around from a few SEAL teams in, in the course of your career? Well, uh, on, that, on that one, I, I stayed at SEAL Team 1 until uh, after Desert Storm. I'd become a sniper, and then I went to Desert Storm, got combat action there. Wow. And then uh, we captured the, the, the first um, Iraqi prisoners of the war. And we were working from the, uh, from the ships and oil rigs. Wow. And uh, I was the lead fast attack vehicle driver over there. That was a fantastic program. All kinds of wild, crazy stories about that. I bet. Uh, crashing helicopters and almost driving those things off cliffs. And it was just... It was it was it was a wild ride. A little fun, maybe. A little, yeah, a little and then, excitement. Yeah, came back after Desert Storm and then uh, screened for Dev Group. Got got picked up for SEAL Team Six 